prepare for an active shooter situation, Oregon lawmakers passed a bill last year that requires every school do a lockdown drill twice a year. But earlier this summer, we found that the uh, Salem-Kaiser district was not meeting those standards. So we sent our Chris Holmstrom to find out if that has changed. We found out Douglas McKay High School was one of eight high schools in the district that was not in compliance with state law. So I went to the principal to make sure that these changes were being made. What are you doing to assure parents that the kids will be having these lockout drills? We are absolutely um, prepared to have our lockdown drills. We will start those very soon. We will at least do our minimum of the two that are required to make sure that we are prepared for uh, the worst case scenario. I also spoke to district leaders and learned they have a new system in place to make sure every school is in compliance. We let the parents know it's going on. We let them know it's not our intent to traumatize the kids or scare them. I just wrote down the same one. I found out the Salem Kaiser School District plans on conducting their first lockdown drill within the first two weeks of school. Part of the drill will be practicing a shelter in place procedure. This means students will practice moving to the safest location in their classrooms. So that as soon as a school does it, they just go online, click a box, we've done it, and then it it comes here to the district office and we know then we can look up the report and see who's done it and who hasn't done it. The district assures me that each school will do a minimum of two lockdown drills a year and in the event of an actual lockdown they tell me each school has their own off-campus safe location so that parents and students can be reunited. Reporting in Salem, I'm Chris Holmstrom for Coin6 News. As far as preparing for all emergencies, we found out Oregon is one of 21 states that are not meeting disaster safety standards for schools. A USA Today report shows the state doesn't have a set plan for all possible disasters and situations like how to reunite children with their families or how to help special needs kids. We learned Washington, however, does meet all the standards. Chris